19 schools have been closed indefinitely in a span of three months in Baringo North, following banditry attacks in the region. Now, the attacks have claimed the lives of 16 people and displaced more than 2,000 families who now require humanitarian support in internally displaced camps. As Marianne Nyambura reports, the banditry attacks in six counties of the North Rift has stirred conversation on the government's inability to weed out the bandits from their hideouts. Yatia Primary School in Baringo North remains deserted for a week now. Learners and teachers have kept off the school as the insecurity situation in Baringo worsens. The closure of the school adds to the long list of schools at primary and secondary levels that have been shut in less than three months due to the attacks. The number of schools shut now stands at 19. And the government is well aware that the situation is dire. We have not closed schools, but students are deserting schools because of the insecurity. But nobody has closed any school in Baringo. But then we just have a few where students, because of the insecurity that was taking place, they had to, to keep off. And even families around there are also moving away. The 19 schools that have been closed indefinitely include Sibilo Secondary School, Sibilo Primary School, Koroto Primary School, Koroto Secondary School, Biretwanin Primary School, Akorayan Primary School, Moinonin Primary School, Chepkwel Primary School, Kosile Primary School, and Ngaratuko Primary School. Ngaratuko Primary School head teacher says that bandits are seemingly targeting schools. Kama shule yangu Ngaratuko, walitupika mchana, sasita mbaka watu wa askari wa RDU, waka to rescue na walitu peleka mbio mbio kwa magari mchana na tukangoa hata marago ila ijaiva kwa moto waka tuka peleka tuka funga madarasa na tukaenda tuka ambua tuende kwa hapa kwa sababu tuta singirwa na tutamalizwa Other schools that were operational last year but have since been shut due to the ongoing conflict include Kagir Primary School Yatia Secondary School Rondinin Primary School, Karimo Primary School, Sesianin Primary School, Kasepewa Primary School, Naipen Primary School, and Kibenos Primary School. Hali hii si nzuri e, katika sehemu hiyo kwa sababu kuna kuwa na hali ya taharuki wananchi wakiwa na hofia e, usalama wao. Ni location tatu e, ambazo zimeathirika sana katika Saimosoi tuko na pahali na ito location inaitwa Sibiloi na Yatia More than 2000 families have been displaced from their homes in recent weeks and are seeking shelter in IDP camps set up in secure areas A criminal can closing schools is unfortunate and it's, uh, it should not be in this century it should not be in this time and we, are, we have been asking the government and we continue asking them to make sure that one they protect life and properties and they more so they protect our children in schools and make sure that we send the police and the and the special units to protect our schools so that our children are able to learn without fear of being attacked the government has been conducting a security operation since 2023 but a year after the operation was launched there is little to show for it Residents continue to flee homes. Tens of people are killed, and now learners and their teachers are keeping off school. Mirianyambura, Citizen TV.